how are you? It's been so long. Did you guys hear the news this morning that Alexander Wang is going to be taking over Balenciaga? I'm so excited about this. At first I was like, hmm, I don't know, like he's so contemporary, he's so inexpensive in the realm of amazingly expensive brands like Balenciaga. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought that it's actually like the most perfect fit ever. And I'm so excited about it. Are you excited? Tell me. Um, so I'm here to answer some questions, enough gossip. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long since I have uploaded. I've been so crazy busy. If you're following me on Facebook, then you know it's been like just fun and insane times. And um, you know, I never complain about being busy, but I am sad when it takes me away from getting to spend more time with you guys. So um, without further ado, let's get to it. First question comes from Facebook uh, and Taylor Lynn, who wants to know uh, the best type of holiday dress for uh, plus sizes. Well, I actually do have an answer for that and I actually own a couple dresses that I think would be really, really great. Um, but one of my favorite places to shop for plus size that's amazing and chic and unique and not crazy expensive is actually ASOS. They have a fantastic curve line. I think it's great. I've actually ordered it for Patrick. Um, not the Patrick is anything but like amazingly skinny and a model. <laughs> it's super flattering and I love it. The cuts are really modern. Colors are great. I sometimes like modcloth.com as well, but I think they're so kitschy. You know, like it's just, you really gotta like sort through that to really find something that's kind of classic. Um, my next favorite place to go is your local high-end vintage store. And I say high-end vintage because it's hard to find good quality dresses at like a Salvation Army or, you know, Goodwill. Um, I'm talking super great high-end. Um, you know, in LA we have this place called The Way We Wore and you get beautiful, phenomenal dresses that are cut size 10, 12, 14 for $200. And as far as party dresses go, I know it's not like Forever 21, $21, but um, you do get some really beautiful pieces that you'll have forever. And you know you'll have them forever because, you know, they've been around for many, many decades. Um, I'll show you uh, a cut that I really like from kind of the Marilyn Monroe days. This is one that I got at the way we wore. It is a sheath dress and it actually has little pleats in the back little 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 pleats in the back and it's sequined all over it's so stunning this is a size um, 8 which is not plus size I'm not suggesting that it is but this kind of shape is something that you do want to look for um, it's a really nice sleeve that comes just off the shoulder it scoops just along like a boat neck and it has like a really pretty V in the back so it lends for a beautiful updo. And I think any time, and I've mentioned this in videos before, you're showing off your decollete and you know your neck area, your back. It's a really sexy part of any woman, or I should say feminine part if you're young. And um, it's definitely something that you can, any girl can play up. So this kind of shape is beautiful. It kind of looks like a sack on the hanger, but don't judge. You gotta try it on to know you love it. Also, and I just dropped it, I am such a fan of sleeves. This dress I wore, actually you might have seen it um, in my Skates Taylor interview from New York Fashion Week a couple months ago. It is slightly pleated, again, it hits just below the rib cage, and it has a beautiful puff sleeve to give a little bit more structure. I think anytime you exaggerate that area, just a smidge up here, you're um, allowing the opportunity to create some really beautiful proportion with the rest of your body. So you want to cinch in right underneath the rib cage, and then you want it to kind of come out. I had this shortened. It came to above the knee. I have it at mid-thigh. I think it's a little bit prettier on me. But if you want to cover more leg, you can. I love wearing it with black opaque tights, a pretty black necklace, and a gorgeous black and gold shoe. So hopefully that helps you. My next question comes from Danielle Gilboa from YouTube, you know, you guys. Um, she wants to know, what rings do you recommend for thicker fingers? 
Uh, I'm so glad you asked. I actually do have pretty chunky hands. Can you tell? Oh, sorry, that's not on right. Um, yeah, they're kind of short and stubby. They used to be a little bit bigger. Um, I know that sounds really weird. Why were they bigger? Um, I have a confession to make, guys. I was a size 14 once upon a time. I was. I was a size 14, and uh, my fingers were really, really big and softy. And, uh, you know, it was just kind of the way I'm built. You see my dad's fingers, I'm built very similarly to him, and they're just like sausages. They're, they're, they're not attractive. But I do the best I can. It doesn't stop me from wearing rings. In fact, I love rings. So one of my tips is to embrace the mid-finger ring. Hello, it's super red. It makes everything look longer, too. I also like rings that are shaped in diamonds. Again, this is going to elongate the shape of your finger, especially if it goes over the knuckle. This one is from H&M. I just got it. I'm obsessed. I got two. I got a small and a medium so I could wear it on different fingers. So cool. Um, this is vintage. This I got at a street fair in New York. It's from India and it's adjustable. And why I love that, it means that I can wear it on a whole bunch of different fingers. And it's just wide enough to cover the whole knuckle. And I love how comfortable it is. Sometimes adjustables are not very comfortable. But also I can make it small enough to also fit at the top of my top of my hand if I want to. Also elongating, I found this beak, which is a really cool one, at um, Foreign Exchange. I don't know if you guys have those stores all over the country. There's a couple of them in LA. I really like them. So I think the trick to bigger fingers is to find um, shapes that elongate your finger and our ovals. I got this one at Forever 21. Just kind of easy, you know, kind of looks vintage. You can totally dupe somebody into thinking that you got that at a vintage store. And I think the key is also to look for the right size. Luckily, H&M has started carrying size large rings, which I'm super excited about because they're also great on your thumbs if you're, you know, not thick fingered like me or they fit the rest of your fingers. Also, you know, you should make sure you stack your rings and more is more, I think. If you're gonna rock them, um, especially if they're all in like a color scheme, definitely make sure that, you know, you're you're rocking it. Own it. And file your nails in a squoval. That always helps. And avoid French manis. French manis just make your fingers nails look stubby. I really hate French manicures on fingers and toes. I hate French manicures. Are we over it? We can be over it, right? All right, guys, if you have more questions about the holidays, about fashion, about anything, you know I am here for you, and I want to help you answer them. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you want to see more videos that answer your questions, then ask me a question. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you'll be entered to win in my care package. I'm not going to send the care package out until I get to... I think it's like 8,000 subscribers. But I really want to get to 10,000. When I get to 10,000, I swear to God, you're going to love what I send you. It's going to be huge. Um, get me to 7,000, then I'll reveal. Or 8,000. 8,000. 7,000? I don't know, guys. Figure it out. Let's just get more. Yay! And there's an amazing new app out there. Two of them, actually, that I'm obsessed with. One of them is called Snapettes. And the other one is called Splurge. So go download them right now. Look me up and let's connect on those apps because it's super fun. Splurge and snap it. Yay! Okay, guys, you're the best. I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye.